Why was I trying to show you the screen then? <laughs> even though we didn't actually like eyeball them. Um, it's a really, really nice spot. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know if I'm willing to test that theory. Hey, so this is the new drone. So on our way to Mackay, we've just done a little detour. We've driven out to just 10 minutes out of Proserpine itself because we got told yesterday that this is a hot spot to see a croc, which we're still yet to properly see. Um, this river, creek, something, <laughs> is, um, is like one of the highest populated uh, water systems in Australia for crocodiles. We got told along the lines of five per kilometre. Yeah. Which is insane. So if we're going to see one, this is the spot, but... We can't see one I yet. I can't see one. So but apparently if you get your drone up and have a little fly... Sorry, just whack your head. Um, have a little fly and have a look, you might be able to see one. So we might do that. Yep. We've spotted crocs on the drone. I don't know if you can see it, show them on the... Obviously we'll put the footage in, but... <laughs> that so was we're dumb. all just sitting here. <laughs> Why was I trying to show you the screen then? <laughs> when I'm filming it. <laughs> He's having a moment. I am. But yay, There's we've finally seen some. That is a massive croc. First crocs in the wild. I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim that one. Yeah, tick. Even though it was through the drone. <laughs> Good work. Crazy that oh. you, um, <laughs> you come all the way down here to see crocs, and that's the heavily, the heaviest population of crocs in Australia. Because I thought the further north, the more crockier it would be. Yeah, I don't know if that is a thing. I don't know, but, but it's there wild. There you go. <laughs> this is the place to come if you want to see them. Even though we didn't actually like eyeball them. <laughs> We were close enough, we could feel their presence. <laughs> hey, um, we dragged the van in there because we're obviously on our way to the next camp. Heaps of room in there, so if you're hooked up, don't uh, feel like you can't go in there. It's nice and easy. Little dirt mm. road, but no corrugation. You might room. feel like the road in does feel like maybe you're not going the right way, but yeah, there's plenty of room to turn around, so. Follow Google Maps. Well, here we go, guys, Camp One Beach. Um, we're up on the headland here because we're actually staying at my cousin's place. So we're not gonna show you their house. Um, it's a beautiful little town, hey? It is, I could definitely live here. Very. Been looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> very just coastal beach town vibe. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a couple of little towns here. It's Camp One Beach and then you've got Serena Beach. We're about half an hour from Mackay, really. Mm. Um, you can see in the background here, we've got the big coal uh, shipping terminal, I guess you'd call it, where all the, the ships come in. There's a heap of ships out um, waiting to get loaded and just beautiful beaches all around. Mm. Um, it's a really, really nice spot. So what we got here, guys, is we got Camp One Beach behind me there and that big long beach over that side, that is Grass Tree Beach. So just another tiny little suburb. Um, there are literally only a few streets each, but just a real good vibe here. And apparently there's a really good pub over at Serena Beach itself. So you can walk along the beach to the pub from Campwin, even though it takes longer to drive there. So that's pretty cool. Might check that out uh, tomorrow or something. But um, I don't know what we're gonna do here. We, we, we've got to duck into Mackay. We've got a few supplies to get, but um, 
I think getting the boat out. The weather's meant to be quite good while we're here. So I'd love to just put the boat in for a day and just, there's all reef just out the front of Campland Beach. It, um, it's like a, a horseshoe reef going around the beach itself. So I'd love to get out there and take the kids for a bit of a fish. But it's just such a beautiful spot, hey? So this morning we've come for a bit of a day trip into Mackay. A couple of reasons. I found out yesterday that I've got shingles. <laughs> Stay away from me. So so that's fun. Um, so I had yeah I had to go to a doctor and stuff and get medication and all the rest of it. Um, but the other thing we're doing today, it appears, is satisfying everyone's fast food cravings. It's been a while. <laughs> and we got a new drone, which was fun. So I think we're just going to hang around here in Mackay for the morning. Might do some sightseeing. I'm not really sure, but get this KFC into us all first and then decide. So whenever we come to a new town or city that we haven't, um, haven't been to before and it's coastal, we like to try to find the water just have a walk along and really sort of suss out the vibe the vibe because like, that's always the main area of town and um we've come here in Mackay because there's the lagoon it's the man-made lagoon like we tried to check out the man-made lagoon in Cairns yeah it's the same thing it's bloody empty <laughs> <laughs> what is with us and like not being able to visit lagoons this is incredible I guess because it's their winter it's our winter now, too yeah but... I guess now's the time to do it but so I don't really two... feel like they get a winter, like it's still hot. Oh yeah, it's definitely not a cold winter. But two lagoons, two awesome swimming spots when you can't swim in the ocean in a lot of these places, both closed. Hopefully when we come this way again, in the near future, we'll be able to get to one. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning we've come for a quick walk down to Serena, no Campwin Beach. Campwin Beach, but now we're on Serena Beach. But they kind of, yeah, connect. It's the one beach, yeah. Yeah. Which is, it's absolutely stunning. The water is crystal clear and like flat as. If I wasn't so scared of crocodiles, I might contemplate going for a swim. But... Hey, they reckon it's all good though. Yeah, they reckon this is the safest beach around here to swim because it's kind of fringed by two reefs. So the crocodiles swim out and around. But I don't know if I'm willing to test that theory personally. I'll just wait till we get back to Brisbane. Um, we nearly lost the brand new drone. <laughs> Alex is down here just giving it a bit of a try out and uh, the dogs don't like it so much. Alex didn't realize, but Coop can jump quite high and he jumped right up and snapped it in his little chops. Oh! So that could have been a waste of about $1,600 in a day but seems to be flying again yep seems to be flying again thankfully hey so this is the new drone dji mini 3 pro did a fair bit of research before we got this but um this one came in it's sort of the best option for us because it does all the shots we want it's got really good um like camera on it it's a light as and the main thing is it's really quiet mm. compared to the last drone a bit more subtle. Yeah, I felt like I was always making a scene flying the other drone. It was an older one. It was a Mavic Pro. And there was nothing wrong with it. The batteries were starting to not be as good. We couldn't fly it as long. But this thing too, the reason this one's so good is we bought it with the RC. So I don't have to pull my phone out anymore. It's just straight up, turn both on and you're flying. And it does the social media mode. Yeah, so it flips the camera. So you can put um, videos that are suitable for Instagram and, and Facebook and all that. So mm -hmm. really happy with this so far. 
until the dogs bit it out of the skull. <laughs> Does anyone know what these things are? Hey, this one's green. Yeah, that's the other one. That's really nice. Hopefully it doesn't sting. I don't know. What is it? I've never seen them before. So we've come out to the Serena Sugar Shed. We're going to do the tour. We figured we're in sugarcane country. Yeah, and I just wanted to, while we were here, may as well try and learn some more about it so the kids can see how it all happens and everything. Hmm. Easy access too, because this is on the highway. So it's literally in the township of Serena. It's right at um, the Visitor Information Centre. And it costs, uh, I think it costs about a hundred bucks a family um, for an hour tour, but that was an extra 20 I added on a cheese platter at the end. <laughs> you snuck that in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get in there and check it out, eh? Did you guys like it over here? Yeah. What did you think it tastes like? Interesting. Yeah. It tastes like normal syrup. <laughs> it's like maple syrup. Yeah. It tastes like syrup. Are you guys all cheese platter that you snuck in. <laughs> Girl's gonna do what she's gonna do. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're gonna walk down the pub, go down the beach, pub for dinner. Um, dogs are just in the van. It's not all that hot, got the fans on. They're absolutely fine, they just love sitting in here. Like I've said before, they are the laziest working dogs you've ever seen. So, a couple of hours in the van, just like they're going to sleep. <laughs> I am. We're on the road again guys, heading south. Uh, we just pulled into the Serena Info Centre to dump the dunny and couldn't go past Serena without getting a pie here from Serena's Pie Shop because Piney from Piney's Pie Reviews told us it is a fantastic pie. <laughs> and I'll tell you what it is, it's really good. What do you reckon? Yep, mine's good so far. I've yep. only had three mouthfuls of pastry, <laughs> but yep, it's good. <laughs> so yep, good pies in Serena. Oh. Righto, here is our camp for the night. We are just south of Rocky. Mm. This is like a little roadside rest stop uh, free camp and it's pretty much brand new. Yeah, I mean it's nothing spectacular but you've got amenities, you've got somewhere to park and that's all you need for the night. <laughs> it's, yeah, and the, the amenities are so new, they're, they're, um, the drop toilets, they, they smell like flowers. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got that whiff when I put my head in there. Oh, but... <laughs> I did. I was like, holy hell. Anyway, getting a little <laughs> off topic here. You guys are probably all thinking, why the hell are we blasting past all this beautiful coastline? Like Yapoon, Whit Sundays, like Keppel area. Why Why are we shooting past it all? Um, there's quite a few reasons. We have touched on it a little bit before, but basically, yeah, the kids 
are enjoying being back at school. They've got goals for, especially Bella's got goals for year six. Um, Which is so, next year for her. Yeah, but all of that kind of starts this year. So we're um, just doing like two on, two off, basically. A stint travelling, a stint at home. Stint travelling, yep. a stint at home, yeah. Because the kids want to be in uh, their school that they came from. So what we're doing is we're going to come back up here when it's a little bit warmer in a couple yes. of months. Yes, um, we want to be able to swim and it's too cold for yeah, us at uh, the moment. It was beautiful up far north Queensland, but now we're getting down a bit. It's cooling off. It is winter. Mm. Um, and yeah, so it'll work out heaps better that way. Uh, and I don't know that you guys will really see that much of a break in the content. No, no, you won't. And the other reason we have a few um, sort of work commitments back in Brisbane. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things to attend. But um, yeah, so look, it's, it's a reality sometimes. We are at that stage where we can't just travel completely full-time mm. uh, money wise we have to go work and just we're not going to take that away from the kids there yeah we don't really feel like it's fair no to them if we want to travel like they've got to live their life too so we're just trying to find a happy balance for everyone but yeah well we're still going to be doing heaps of travel so you will not be missing out on on anything there'll still be the content coming out weekly as as normal yep and um Half the reason too is we have to get back and do some repairs to Bertha. Um, the whole point of this trip was a shakedown, which, you know, I think oh, we she did. she got shook down, <laughs> well and truly. So I got a bit of a list and um, yeah, there'll be a bit of a Renault 2.0. Yeah, and um, some things we've got to fix. Mm, fixing things, changing things. And that's like anyone who's on the road in a caravan knows, even if you buy the biggest flashes van, you'll get out there, you'll start using it and you'll realize some things were good, some things weren't. Yep, there's definitely always things you want to change. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, we plan to sort of punch south tomorrow morning till about Bundy or something. Yeah, I'm thinking we might spend a couple of days at Bundy. So if you're wondering what that noise was while we are talking to, these guys, <laughs> <laughs> just bashing rocks, eh? Hey? Scratching rocks. Crush them. Oh, you're crushing rocks. Oh, Very good, mate. Powder. It gets sand off you, but we don't. It gets what? It gets sand off you, but we don't have any sand. Yeah. So we just... You're just being prepared for later, are you? <laughs>